Okay, I'm back for, we're back from Wakanda. My regular camera person, Mrs. Mrs. Chloe, is back in Dambaza. And uh, me and uh, my wife, Gertrude, is here. She's on the camera now. Thank you, dear. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is what I was wearing. If you if you looked at the, any of the pictures, this is what I was wearing. This is the back of it. Hey, the back. And this is the mm -hmm. front. This is the front right here. Like this, where or my wife is was wearing something else. So I check the other videos. Maybe I'll put a post in there. Like that. So that's that's what I was wearing. And of course the, the pants go with it with the thing I and the hat for it and all the rest of it. The crown as we as we say in, uh, in in America. And there's a lot of stuff. I'm just talking about ancillary things right now. I want to go into a, a full review or uh, analyze uh, or analyzing uh, uh, the film out for another time. Um, now, first of all just First of all, we, we were standing in, in East London, uh, a place in East London. This is in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. And um, so they only showed the picture in 3D. Okay, so my first thing I'd just like to say, um, I, I don't, I never really appreciate 3D. I, I'm back 3D day when they had the glasses, you know, the colored glasses, you put the, the cardboard glasses. That was fine for the time. But I don't like these 3D glasses, and I don't even like the 3D look. All right, let me tell you a little story about, well, 3D is something else. Uh, in the 80s, um, when I was uh, my seminal job as uh, as uh, arts director for WBA already, which I started doing film reviews in '82 with them. But I used to do film reviews anyway. I went to, when I went to college at film. That, that's, that leave, leave that alone. But there was um, uh, uh, a film review. Our, our, film re our official film reviewer for the station was Paul Wonder, the, the late great Paul Wonder, peace and blessings upon his eternal soul. I love Paul. Paul was amazing because I was arts director uh, even before then. But he, when I became arts director, which means I was in charge of him and a bunch of a bunch of other things, you know. And so we would go to films all the time. So I might see a film like a year before it came out or something like that. So, um, so I have an extensive background in film reviewing and film appreciation, and I can't even tell you all these films I've seen. But um, he told me a story. Uh, this is back in, the, in, I guess, the early 1980s. They did develop a, a situation with Superman. First Superman, you know, not first Superman. No one with, with, with Christopher Reeve. Where they had it, so the, the Superman actually flew off the screen and into the audience. But the problem was that when it flew off, it was too small. It was too small. And so they, they amended that. And I guess now they got the 3D and eventually do the virtual thing, which would be kind of interesting. I had a virtual thing on my head one time. That's really amazing. Um, but I don't like this modern 3D. I just I just, just doesn't turn me on. So I really want to see the picture in 2D, two dimensions, not, not three dimensions. But um, but this film is so overwhelming. There's so much in it that it's I, I have to digest it. Even after, you know, um, I, after, after two days, I, I just don't have a right. I'm going to see it again at another time. Uh, I want to get the, uh, uh, the international students to have a little trip and go see it. But uh, for now, it's just, uh, that's, that's one thing. But I also um, I think that, uh, uh, first of all, the, the music was extraordinary. The, the, the music going in, in the film was, it was extraordinary. That's, that's a must see. If you do go see the film, please, I know a lot of y'all get the film is over, you, get, you just get up and go. But film etiquette, if you are, you're supposed to wait until the union bud. Now they're even they're doing something like a, a mid trailer and then an end trailer, whatever it is. I don't know what they like call them these things, but you have to stay to the end trailer. Well, you don't have to say, but you should because uh, what well, series in it and she's uh, Letitia Wright is really amazing in this film. Um, but again, I don't want to go into the to the to the going ancillary things. Uh, the other thing is that I realized that um, well, I remember when when we went to the theater when when The Exorcist first came out, you know, the William Blatty, well, the Mon novel, and then, then I think Freakin did the film. Anyway, um, when that came out, uh, people hadn't gone to the films in a long time, and people were actually, because of the nature of whatever was happening, people were actually having this, they were throwing up, you know, they were vomiting. This was so shocking to people. The Catholic Church came out against all kinds of things was happening. Um, because people, normal people that, or people that don't go to film a lot didn't know, know the evolution of film, and so they were af affected by this. Um, so if you have to do film like that, this is a different thing. Remember, this is a so-called comic book film. I don't really look at film like that. I mean, film is film to me. I mean, you know, a, a heist movie is a heist movie, which I really like heist movies. A revenge movie, I love revenge movies. Those are what they are, but they're movies, and that's what they do. Uh, this film definitely had a lot of um, the, the, a lot of stuff in it, right? The writing to me was all right. Well, I shouldn't say all right; it was good. 
a little bit more than good. It wasn't as excellent as I as 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 I as, as it wasn't. Maybe just let me just give them a little break because they tried to put a lot of stuff in there. But the points of view were really amazing. Were really amazing. I mean, they got everything that needed to be gotten. You know, for the comic book people, they got stuff for that. For this, for us cinema. The cinema people that just appreciate film it was really amazing that the look um, even if it doesn't they'll probably be nominated for a lot of awards but the one award that they have to win or the two awards they have to win is just production design or whatever the, the design of the film and of course uh, uh, Ruth Carter Ruth Carter's costuming amazing just did an, uh, uh, this unbelievable job you know, so the, those things, like if the Academy Awards are coming up pretty soon, I can see it. If I was on that stage, if I was uh, Jimmy Kimmel's hosting it, I would say things. And, uh, or if I, if I went for costuming, the first thing I would say, I'm so glad I'm not, we're not competing next year. <laughs> what was Black Panther? So, you know, I make jokes all along the, all along the about Black Panther and what's, what's happening. Uh, I, I like that. Uh, again, I don't want to talk about acting and whatever have you right, right now, but, um, so I just want to make this short. This city will be other other stuff happening, uh, but it's well worth the trip. It's well worth whatever you have to pay for it. But you should you actually should see it in the, in, in, in the theater first. You know, I'll start seeing it in the theater, and I, I I will buy the DVD. No, I don't have Blu-ray and stuff like that. I'm not that advanced yet, but um, I will see, I will uh, get the DVD and the extras and whatever have you because that's what it is. I've been. Uh, all these little people with their commentaries like that. A lot of people got it wrong because they had expectations. When you go into a film, it's a film that somebody else made. It's not your film. You could say, I didn't want this. I want, they should have put this in whatever. But it is what it is, as they say, as the saying goes. So don't have those kind of expectations. Just go and appreciate for what it is and things you can take out of it. I had a, a huge appreciation of the film, which I won't tell you about right now. But it, that, that's what it is. So, so, uh, so my, my takeaway from this is please go with even if it's two or three friends, but go with people, see it in the movie theater where you have other people in there. Uh, if, if, if you go to some places like a little, like African American, they, they do this a lot, and it's too noisy for you, just know that you can go to another show, and then if you want to experience like, like real black people, you know, as they say, you know, black Americans, especially black Americans from, and descended from, you know, chattel slavery, we have a different kind of way of acting in the movie theater. So I'm from the days when the forty second street where you really talk to the screen, you know, so I'm from that kind of that kind of um, that kind of background. So um so 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 that's all I really really want to say. And the other thing is wait for end credits if you want to. And the music is oh the music at the end is really fantastic too. Um mm -hmm. I want to say one more thing about the I have a favorite song uh, um uh, uh um, from the album, oh, I, after the after the film, I went to try to get the album from the music hood, the music, the big music store down here, uh, but they didn't have it. It's not here yet in South Africa, so I have to wait, you know. But I think it's a pray for me as a cut. It's, I think it's the last cut on, on the CD, and I really like, I really like that. And the, and the, and when it, the way they use it in the uh, in the film, it's perfect for when they use it in, in, in the film. Uh, it, I'll tell you when it happens. It happens when they go into the casino part. Everybody knows that they will, they go into, they're in Hong Kong, not Hong Kong, Korea, uh, South Korea, and they go into a casino like a James Bond kind of thing. And it's really used very, very effectively there. But the reason why I buy the uh, the CD, I didn't notice it because it was really going, is that when, when the credits roll, you see what the music is. I, I didn't know, they have Baba Ma. Baba Ma has a cut on that thing. I love Baba Ma. Baba Ma is one of my favorite artists. So, so understand that. Oh yeah, I'm wearing my. This is where I wear. This is my my multi bed. My you know my Rasta Rasta thing. And I would say the Rasta is representative, but my favorite character in the movie. He has a little bit of locks, you know. So it's 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 representative. So so let's go and enjoy. It's for what we're seeing, um, and um, you know. Talk, talk about it because it is, a, it is a movement, you know, and, and, and it excites people and if very well, it should. And, and don't go with expectations. Don't go think that's going to save your life. It's not going to save your life. <laughs> or it's going to save, I don't know, whatever. But what's also, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say this, what's really important about it, all the people involved, and they're all very well spoken. If you go to see some of these interviews, I mean, whew, the picture of Nyong'o, she's like amazing when she talks tonight. She's like, you know, the, the, the uh, um, Ryan Coogler, you know, they all are very articulate, you know what I mean? Uh, even though uh, Michael B. Jordan, uh, he, well, he's articulate too, but I'm just saying it's really very, very, very good. So what's going to happen is all these people have now a cachet. They have some, some things to do other projects. And when you do something this big, 
and let me advise all you actors who have you, then do something smaller. The next, just do something small. You always come back to the big thing. It's very important. And and so that and and, and you'll see they'll have some some things and we'll see what happens. So anyway, uh, Wakanda.